So we about to get into Take Me Back with a group whose name I don't know how to pronounce, but I'm give it a shot right now. But I'm not actually completely sure if they fall under second gen or not. But they get suggested to me in second gen videos. So I think they do. They debuted in 2012, but there's groups like B2B who like I don't see as a second gen group, and I don't think they actually are. But they debuted in 2012. It's it's weird to think of B2B as a second gen group. Um, but I think B Star or Five Star. Let me know how to say it. I think it's B Star because I see the I the E sound after in the Hangul in the video. Um, but I don't know because then there's like another letter I keep forgetting. Fiesta? Fiesta. It's Fiesta. It's Fiesta. You can't tell me. Okay, now I recognize because I, sometimes I have issues. Obviously, I don't know Korean, but some characters I know. It's Fiesta. 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 The R is silent. There's no. It's Fiesta. Their name is Fiesta. Holy shit. Let me know if I'm right. I think I'm right. It's Fiesta. Wow, I just had a moment. So, I've never checked them out before, but basic basic information, debuted August 31st, 2012, and disbanded this year, May 15th, 2018. It's so fortunate I groups disband all the time. I believe I heard, it was either this group or another group that disbanded this year, that people were talking about them disbanding, and it was a, that they found it kind of shocking that it was them. I'm not sure if it was this group. I think it might have been a group with a J. I can't remember. Um, I definitely believe it was a girl group, so I think it might have been them. Let me know, because I know it's not, they're not the only group to this band this year. Her name is Jay. Yeah, Jay is one member. She is the leader. Then it's Kaolu. Ka yeah, Kaolu. Kaolu. Uh, Lindsay. Hemi. Yemi. No, it's, it's he Hemi. It's Hemi. And Yezi, right? And then it has former members that say Cheska? Oh, that's it. Just one member is former, former member. She was born in Alabama, USA. Edgy. No, 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 no. Her name, okay. Song finished, but oh my god. No, 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 no. The song shouldn't have finished. No, please play something else. Last, that member's name is not Yezzy. It's Edgy. Edgy. It's Edgy. Yo, shout out to knowing some Korean, like to read Korean. Like, I will always say for the life of me, I won't be able to tell you what I'm reading, but I can read it. I can pronounce it if I see it. So her name is Edgy. So it's Edgy, uh, Hemi, Lindsay, uh, or Lindsay, Lindsay, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, because it's, it's Minzy. Minzy is her, Minji is her real name. Kaolu and Jay. <gasps> it is not Kaolu, it's Chao Lu. It's Chao Lu. Yo, I'm learning things. Nah, it's not Kalu, it's Chao Lu. Yo, I, I feel like I'm having one of those moments and I haven't even hopped into like trying to learn like like studying like Korean in quite a bit. So it's just things I keep picking up as I keep reading and it makes me feel good, okay? So let me have this moment. We're about to check out Fiesta, You're Pitiful. This is one of the songs that was suggested to me. Uh, one other song was suggested to me even though like if I check out a couple more other songs whenever I do get around to checking them out again. You know what? I'm going to talk about that at the end. I, there are captions here. Are they English? Oh, they are. What? Excuse me. You're pitiful. Fiesta. Actually, did not check when this is from, but production wise, doesn't look very old at all. Oh. That's pomegranate. Oh. Oh, 
melody of that chorus. I really like the melody of the chorus. Where does it start? You become so smart. Oh, it's already there. It's already going on here too. Check when the other member left, so I don't know if there's gonna be a point where they did have six members in certain songs. Yeah, Lego, no problem. Oh. I love that part right there. I love that part when she does that. It's not like trying to let someone know like, oh, you the one losing out. You become so small. Yeah, I find it, sometimes I find it hard to like read lyrics and watch them. I mean, I feel like the video tells the story really well. That's why I feel like I'm getting it even when I don't look at every lyric. of the video itself. Just hit the hell out of my table. See, it's like, uh, always makes you wonder the reason behind this band mix. When you hear songs like this. Cause I'm curious. I'm curious. So they disbanded. They debuted in 2012, right? May 15th, 2018 is when they disbanded. So this year, not too long ago at all. I mean, I don't know. Like when I when I think popular song, I always think any song, a songs like with like 10, 10 mil or more views. And they said they have more than one. Um, I guess that's not always the telltale of like, I guess a successful group in the world of K-pop. But I wonder if there was anything else, like any other reason as to why they disbanded. Like, it, like I always wonder, because like, that's a good song. And a song I can see myself listening to a lot because I like songs like that. And like Girls They Miss A, Mama Moon, and like groups like that, they provide a specific vibe. that I, I love the vibe that they bring. And at least with this song, because I did hear that uh, Fiesta has like a, a very, they're, they're very cutesy. They have a very cutesy sign. And I was like, it's kind of like a warning, but I don't really care. Like, I listen to cute songs, I listen to cute groups, so it doesn't matter to me. But I was definitely told that if I wanted to, like, see a side that I would really, really like, like 100%, to check out this song, 
and you were right, but it makes me wonder because I guess for me, when I hear a song often, I just like fixate myself on the fact this group is popular. Um, though they may not be, it's just I hear songs so often, it's like, yo, this group is like the, the biggest shit to me, you know, like they are the shit for me. And I guess it's just like that world that created in my head that sometimes the logic, I spew the logic. And it doesn't make sense to others, but it makes sense to me. And I'll, to me, that's all that matters. But listening to a song like that, and because it appeals to me so much, that's why I say I find it weird. Explain to me, like, what like, what happened? Like, is it just one of those disbandments because of they're not as big as maybe anticipated? Because obviously, every group that gets put out is with the intent of getting huge or getting very popular. Um, is that the reason behind it? Just let me know, because I don't know. And let me know if I pronounce all the names right, bro. I... The group's name and all the names like of the members because i think i did a pretty good job today then again i could be wrong i've been wrong before